God said to Job, brace yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand who marked off its dimensions. Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? Who shut up the sea behind doors when it burst forth from the womb? Have you journeyed to the springs of the sea or walked in the recess of the deep? Have the gates of death been shown to you? Have you seen the gates of the deepest darkness? Have you comprehended the vast expanses of the earth? Tell me if you know all this. Can you bring the constellations in their seasons? Do you know the laws of the heavens? Can you set up God's dominion over the earth? Can you raise your voice to the clouds and cover yourself with the flood of water? I am unworthy. How can I reply to you? I put my hand over my mouth. I spoke once, but I have no answer. Twice, but I will say no more. Job replied. God had said previously that Job was a blameless and upright man who feared God and shunned all evil. But he had a weakness. He failed in a certain point. Job failed to understand that what he was going through was not a punishment. He tried to justify himself rather than God. He blamed God for hiding his face from him. He didn't understand that it wasn't a punishment, it was a test. God is not giving you the cold shoulder today. In today's world, even we fall into this deception, thinking that God has punished us for what we've done. Falling into a trap isn't wickedness, it's weakness. God will punish the wicked. God only lets us go through those tough times so that we may rise up stronger. Gold in the hands of the goldsmith. He passes it through the furnace not to destroy it, but it comes out pure. The only thing that is destroyed in the fire are the impurities. Now it is of much greater value. God knows that you're going to be a more influential and impactful person for Him with a testimony. You did not have a testimony, but now you do, because God allowed you to undergo the test. When you call to God in the time of your test, and you think that God is not answering, He's not listening to me, don't say, how long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Never say that. You need to remember this. When the teacher is teaching, you ought to be silent and observe. But when you're taking the test, it's the other way around. The teacher is silent and will observe. Likewise, in the test of life, God is silent and will observe your every move. He is with you. But we being humans, dust of the earth, can't earn our way into heaven. God says, don't sit around and just whine. Get up and do your part because I've done mine. I will have provided salvation at the cost of my only beloved son. Now you stand the test of faith, receive him into your life, follow the way of instructions with Christ's perseverance, and you will be victorious. That instruction, that teaching, my friend, is what we now have that is called the Bible. Humble yourself, hide his word into your hearts, in your hearts, and he will exalt you in the presence of your enemies.